da 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 and uh, and and uh, in the in the afternoon and in the, in the morning, it's it's kind of chilly, kind of chilly. So it's 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 autumn. So we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, tea. What kinds of tea uh, am I drinking in the fall? All right, and I turned off the uh, music because I yeah, it's it's it's, uh, it's nice music, but it's a little distracting. Uh, so as you can see, I, I'm ready to talk about autumn. And the fall, and in about a month, it's just going to be all about winter. You know, it's just going to be all about winter. But for the next month, it's, it's going to be about fall. It's going to be a Halloween. It's going to be about Thanksgiving. It's going to be about you know, food and drink and, and uh, decorations and smells and sounds and music and media. All the good stuff. And, of course, games. Of course, games. Uh, so we're going to have streams talking about games, different kinds of games, video games, board games, card games, all centered around uh, English practice, uh, but making it fun, uh, especially if you don't have a foreign friend or, or an English teacher to, to help you along the way. And that's kind of the, the purpose of this uh, YouTube channel. Okay, uh, so let's get started. Let's talk about some tea. I'm actually drinking some tea right now i'm drinking some tea yeah 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 yeah. i'm drinking some tea and what i'm drinking smells really good um it's uh from trader joe's it's a it's a shop called trader joe's um this is not a trader joe's endorsement it's chai spiced chai tea trader joe's spiced chai tea i love it i love it and we're gonna talk a little bit about chai spice why don't we just get into it? Uh, let's start with the first. The first tea that I have here is called a caramel apple. So this is going to be a common theme. Fall tea is going to have a lot of fruit, fruit to it, and 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 autumn fruits and and berries, like blueberries, rad raspberries, cranberries, uh, apple. Uh, and also uh, seasonal spices like cinnamon, nutmeg, those kinds of things. And here we've got caramel, apple, and and I didn't talk a little bit. I haven't talked about candy in a really long time. But a caramel apple is a common American dessert uh, around this time of year. It's it's basically just an apple, a fresh apple, with hot caramel wrapped around it, and then the caramel gets cool and gets hard, and and but you can actually bake an apple and get it nice and toasty and then melt caramel and let both cool and it's just and it's a much much softer apple a much much sweeter apple so it's really really good but how about if it was in a tea what if it was in a tea yeah that's exactly what it is i'm clipping a little bit sorry about that uh yeah so so a tea that smells like a caramel apple, and it's got that black tea to it, so it's 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 really delicious. I really I really quite like it. And so that's that's what it is. We got yeah, apple caramel apple tea, caramel apple. But maybe maybe you're not a fan of the caramel. Like it's too much like candy. Like you're not you're not interested in a candy, uh, smell or flavor. Uh, how about an apple cider tea? So apple cider is not a tea. Apple cider basically is is raw fresh uh, apple juice with with apple in it. Just it's just so instead of the taking just the apple juice from an apple when when you want to make apple juice, right? Right? Um it's they basically just crush and break the whole apple including the juice and they make it into kind of like a like a cold apple soup and sometimes they will put uh, cinnamon sticks 
and and other flavors in it and just let it sit overnight for like 24 hours and then they'll take the cinnamon sticks out and you have yourself uh, apple cider it's basically just a very strong apple juice that's really all it is and where i live where i live uh you can go to different farms not every farm. You can't just go to a farmer's house and say, "Hey, hello. Are you? Do you have anything to drink?" Um, but fa- farmers, like on the weekend, they will put uh, jugs of apple cider out and, and sell cups and bottles of apple cider to people who visit them. Just kind of as a way to, you know, kind of keep promoting their business and that kind of thing. It's really quite quite lovely. But something to be aware is apple cider is alcoholic. It's an alcohol drink. It's 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 made. It's fermented, kind of like a like a wine a little bit, but but you can get it uh, non-alcoholic, absolutely. And that's what that's what I usually get is I get non-alcoholic apple cider, and then I'll pour it I'll pour it into uh, a mug like this. I'll pour it into a mug, and then I'll then I'll heat up the mug so that the apple cider is really warm. And it's a, it's delicious, and I, and I might put like a cinnamon stick, a stick it's at the a raw a raw cinnamon in it, and give it a little extra cinnamon flavor. And that's actually what this is. This tea is apple cider, but tea it's apple cider tea, and it's got some other uh, fruit and and um, uh, 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 herbs in it too. That's really, really quite nice. It really, it really smells nice, and it really smells up the house, the the room really well. It's it's delicious. It it really is good. I really like this tea. Uh, but I mentioned cinnamon before, so why not just cinnamon? Absolutely. But if it's just cinnamon tea, it's it's a much stronger tea, and it's not cinnamon. So like you know, when you bake with cinnamon, it's, it's very sweet. Cinnamon is a sweet. Is a sweet, uh, like uh, flavoring for like cookies and cake and and uh, pie, some pies will add cinnamon to it and it makes it very very sweet. Actually, that's not what cinnamon tastes like. Cinnamon is quite bitter. Raw cinnamon is a little bitter, but it definitely has that cinnamon quality that that we know from cake and cookies and candy and that kind of thing. Um, and it's a little bit kind of like a spice not like a chili but like a ginger you know how ginger can kind of feel a little bit like it's hot like a spicy hot that cinnamon has that definitely and and that's what's really great about uh cinnamon tea and this one this brand this brand is closer to the sweet cinnamon we know from like cinnamon cookies and cake but the taste is still that strong cinnamon a little bit bitter and I, I kind of like that but the smell is like something that's freshly baked with cinnamon like a cinnamon cookie it, it really smells just like that but the, but the flavor is a little bit a little bit more bitter a little bit stronger uh, which I like actually sometimes so there you go cinnamon tea I'm really looking for, for that yeah. The next I wanted to the last the last I wanted to introduce there I got the last one is my is chai, yeah, chai spice tea. Um, this brand has pumpkin spice, uh, and that's because, uh, I think I think this is the last week, but America's crazy for pumpkin spice. It really is. Um, I did not. I had the option. I had the choice to get pumpkin spice, but I didn't. I got the uh, regular uh, chai spice. But here, uh, twinnings or twinnings, um, they have the they, that. There's pumpkin spice everything. But this is a pumpkin spice, but also chai. And it has a sort of a chai latte taste and smell, but it's not coffee. This is not a coffee stream. This is a tea stream, uh, and and this is also another strong flavored tea. It smells smells lovely. It smells like ch- chai, uh, but and it definitely the, the the taste, the flavor is a very strong flavor. I I really enjoy it, um, but but not for waking up. I like to have this like late morning. 
and uh, or, uh, or early afternoon, but not for the not for the morning. That's for editing purposes. So, uh, yeah. So chai, chai spice, chai spice tea, and there you go. There you go. You have your, uh, you have your uh, teas that we have here, and. I just recommended five different flavors of tea that you can try. I'd like to know what are, what are your favorite teas to drink when it's when it gets cold. When it starts to get cold, what kind of tea do you like to drink? I, I know a lot of people like to drink green tea. I like to drink that in the morning. Uh, or oolong tea, definitely. But those are those are teas that you can drink all around the all year long, all ar all around the year. So. Um, I'd like to know what a, what is a special tea that you wait for in the fall when the weather changes and you start drinking more hot drinks and you want some interesting flavors. What are, what are, what are you drinking? I, I'd like to know. So please let me know in the comments uh, if you can.